Hi guys, my name is Jia Jing Hang. Welcome to my video presentation. So, I'm a fourth year student who studied the course of Artificial Intelligence in UTHM, which is University of Tukush of Malaysia. And this class is lectured by Mjian Magasatya Zainuddin Midyakub and also Dr. Faiz Ashraf bin Safaruddin. So, I'm glad to have this opportunity to share some knowledge about Artificial Intelligence. So, from this video, it will cover some uh, content with what the judge explanation refer search and deferred search and the way to use deferred search to solve the tutorial step and credit section so first is the water jug explanation so what is water jug so water jug it can be named as water pouring puzzle and it is a class of puzzle involving a finite a collection of water jug of no uh, integer capacity and it can be a term of liquid measure such as liter and gallon so next we'll explain about some uh, specific words and meaning so first is the initial state so initial state is the beginning stage of the water jar and the goal stage is the final result of the water jar and the action and successor function is the step and action to use to complete the process from initial state to a uh, goal stage so there are three methods here which are fill a bucket empty a bucket and pour content of one bucket to another bucket so next we're showing a question uh, at the right side of the video so given a four gallon bucket and a three gallon bucket how can we measure exactly two gallon into one bucket so these are showing two state here which are initial state and go state so for initial state the bucket are empty so the state will be zero zero so for go state so one of the bucket has two gallon of water in it so the state will be two zero or zero two so for the action and succession function, these are the three methods here, which are the fill a bucket. So uh, we can uh, represent x equal to 3, or y equal to 4, and we're using empty a bucket to apply as x equal to 0 or y equal to 0, or we use pour content from one bucket into another bucket, which are transfer the uh, content from x to y or y to x. So these are the specific fix words and meaning and example for water jar. So uh, for breakfast search or breakfast search. So breakfast search it can be recalled from uh, data structure, the basic algorithm for a breakfast search on graph or trees. So it expands the shareholders and expand the uh, nodes and place all new successor at the end of the FIFO queue. So for uh, breakfast search, it's recalled from data structure, the basic algorithm for a depth of search on a graph or tree. So these are similarity as breadth of search and depth of search as graph or tree. So uh, depth of search will expand the deepest and expand the nodes and the, the unexplored successor are placed on a stack until it is uh, fully explored. So next we will showing the step uh, by using depth of search to solve the tutorial step. So the question is, given a 4 gallon bucket and 3 gallon bucket, how can we measure exactly 2 gallon into 1 bucket? So show the step from A00 to N20. So A will be initial state and N equals to uh, go state. So assuming the condition as X and Y, so X represent as the right uh, left side and Y represent as the right side. So for the solution, initial state, I color it as green color as A00 and the gold states, I uh, color it as blue, which is uh, 20. So there are three methods here, which is method 1, fill a bucket, method 2, empty a bucket, method 3, pull content from one bucket into another bucket. So next we'll show in the mapping and also the step from initial state to gold state. So for the green color A00, they are showing three methods here, method one, two, three, and we're using the method one to fill a bucket as x equal to four to get the result of b equal to four, zero. And we're using the same method to fill y equal to three and get the result of c, zero, three. So next, uh, we focus on the four, zero first. So we're using the method one to fill as y equal to three and get the result of four, three. And we're using method 2 to empty the bucket in X to get the result of 0, 0. And we're using the method 3 to pull the content from X to Y and get the result of 1, 3. 
Next, we focus on one tree. So one tree, we using the method of uh, method two to empty the uh, content in Y to get the result of one zero, and we using set method to empty the content in X and get the result of zero three, and we using method three again to get the result of four zero again. So we focus on one zero, and we using the method two to empty the product in x and get the result of zero zero and we using uh, method two uh, sorry method one to fill y equal to three and get the result of one three and next we using method three to put the content from x to y and get the result of l as zero one next we focus on zero one so zero one we use method one to fill the bucket in x and get the result of four one and next, we using the method two to empty the product in y and get the result of zero zero, and we using the method three again and repeat to get the result of one zero again. So next, we focus on four one. So four one, we using the method of uh, method two to empty the bucket in x and get the result of zero one. So we using uh, method two again and empty the product in y to get the result of four zero. And next, we using the method three to put the content from x to y to fill it to full as three and get the result of two three. And next, we focus on two three. So two three, we using the method two to empty the bucket in x and get the result of zero three. And we using the method two again and empty the product in y and get the final result as the go stage as uh two zero. And next, we showing using method 3 to pull it, get the result of 4, 1. So this is the first mapping or the first procedure that we showing from initial step, which is A to T. And this table is showing the step from A to T as they have uh, seven methods here to get the final result as the go state. And next, we showing as the 0, 3. So first, uh, initial state and three method so this is the uh, b and we showing the mapping in c so c we get the result of for three by using method one to fill x equal to four and we using uh, method two to empty the product in y and get the result of zero zero and we using method three to get the result of three zero uh, so we focus on three zero we using the method one to fill the bucket in y to get the result of three three and we using the method two to get the result of zero zero, and we put the content from uh, y oh, sorry x to y to get the result of three zero three by using method three, and now we focus on three three. So for three three, we using the method of uh, empty the bucket in x to get the result of zero three, and we using the same method method two to empty the product in y to get the result of zero three. Uh, 3 0 sorry so next we using method 3 to pull the content from uh, y to x and get the result of 4 2 now we using the method 2 to empty the product in x to 0 and get the result of 0 2 and we using the method 2 again to empty the product in y to get the result of 4 0 and we using uh, method 3 again to get the result of 3 3 so now we focus on 0 2 and we're using the method 1 to fill the bucket in x to get the result of 4, 2. And we're using the uh, method 2 to empty the bucket in y to get the result of 0, 0. Now, we're using method 3 and get the final or the goal stage as 2, 0. So this is the mapping and the procedure that we're showing from initial state, which is A, 0, 0, and get the result of 2, 0. So next, this table will showing the step from initial state to final stage. So there are six methods here. So next we're showing two diagram here. So this diagram may be more complicated. So we also simplify as method one and method two. So for method one, so we're using uh, A, which is zero, zero, and we're using method one to get the result of four, zero here, and this is B. So we're using method three to put the content from uh, x to y to get the result of 1, 3 here and get the result of b and 
Next, we're using method 2 to empty the product in y to get the result of z uh, 1, 0. And we're using method 3 to pull the content from x to y to get, get the result of 0, 1. So next, we're using method 1 to get the result of 4, 1 by adding x equal to 4. So we're using the method 3 again from x to y to get the result of 2, 3. Now we're using the final step or final method to apply it as empty the product in y to get the result of 2, 0. So next is about the method 2. So for method 2, we're using the 0, 0 from here and get the result of uh, method 1 to get the result of 0, 3 as apply adding y equal to 3. And next, we're using method 3 to transfer y to x and get the result of 3, 0. And we're using the method 1 again to get the result of 3, 3 by adding y equal to 3. And we're using method 3 again to get the result of 4, 2 by pulling the product from y to x and get the result of 4, 2. And this is j. And we're using method 2 to empty the product in x as 0 and get the result of 0, 2 which is m here. And we finally get the same result as n and by using method 3 to pull the content from y to x. So these are the steps and showing how we're using uh, DFS or BFS by applying initial state to our final stage which is go stage. So this showing some step and method here to um, simplify uh, the problems. So uh, next we'll showing some credit section. So there are five reference here that I used to complete my video presentation. So that's all from my video. Hopefully this video can help you to get more know as the artificial intelligence. So don't forget to click like and subscribe my channel. So that's all for my video. Thank you for listening.